Hello and welcome to Motoscribes. I'm Vikram Gore, and as I promised you in my Hyundai Tucson ADS uh, video, where we spoke about all the safety features, that I will be reviewing the all new Tucson soon. This is that video, and here is the 2022 Hyundai Tucson. It is a delightful vehicle. It's Hyundai's flagship SUV in the country, and it comes packed with technologies as well as uh, great uh, engines and a very spacious cabin. It's brilliant to drive, and I'm going to be telling you all about the all-new Tucson in this video. The first thing that grabs you about the new Hyundai Tucson is the way it looks. It is a premium five-seater SUV and there's really nothing quite like it out there in the market when it comes to the way it just stands. So you've got beautiful character lines, uh, nice fine creases in the metal that really give it a bold, uh, purposeful look. It is rather sporty looking and uh, Hyundai likes to call it sensual sportiness and I think it carries forward across their entire range but it looks the best on the Tucson. Uh, getting up close uh, with the vehicle, uh, what you get to see is that there's a lot of attention to detail. Uh, they've done a fantastic job. You've got this bold cascading grille up front. You've got the hidden DRLs right here. So these are actually lights that light up and when the car is on the road, they give it a rather futuristic look. Uh, the low set headlamps uh, work really well. You get that nice white light. And uh, again, a fine touch to uh, the design over there. Along the side, you see the bowl creases. You can see that the vehicle's got this beautiful sort of proportionate look. It sits really well on the 18-inch wheels and the diamond cut alloys just look stunning. But where a lot of other manufacturers mess up is bringing the entire package together. And that is the rear. With the Tucson, that's not a problem because Hyundai is again taking it up a notch and ensured that the back gets uh, a bold new treatment so it's really edgy you've got beautiful lights at the back you've again got some hidden light detailing over there a beautiful light strip a 3d hyundai logo that sits in the glass and uh, the rear viper it actually hides up into uh, the spoiler so that's an added touch so take a walk around the car go around it and you will see that hyundai has paid a lot of attention to detail in getting the proportion right getting the stance right and getting the look just right. So what we're getting in India is the long wheelbase version of the 2022 Tucson. And uh, what that has done is it's freed up a lot of space in the cabin. So you've got a very plush, uh, well laid out cabin, great leg space uh, up front, obviously, and at the rear, it is more than exceptional. So you're looking at an SUV that's great to be seated in no matter where. And uh, it's done up with this nice dual tone look. You've got uh, soft touch leather on the doors, on the dash and uh, you've also got these little chrome inserts and silver inserts that run through and you've got this dual curved look as well which brings out the premiumness of uh, the new Tucson. The seats uh, up front you've got uh, ventilated seats they look absolutely stunning they've got this metal insert in them that again brings out that premiumness that uh, the new Tucson is all about and uh, other features include a really well appointed uh, sort of four spoke uh, steering wheel 
you've got a large touchscreen interface uh, which i think is now a hyundai standard feature across their range they've got uh, that bit of equipment really well sorted out and uh, the tucson doesn't disappoint on that one bit you also get a complete uh, digital instrument cluster uh, which you can sort of surf through uh, multiple uh, bits of information uh, pop up over there including all your advanced safety warnings that come along with the adas package but uh, for me uh, the one thing that i definitely enjoyed was the fact that it comes with a nice premium bose sound system uh, the eight speaker setup it gives you an immersive sound it's uh, brilliant to listen to your tracks on and uh, definitely a highlight uh, with the new Tucson. But before uh, I end this little bit about uh, the interior and tell you about all the features that uh, the Tucson is equipped with, the standout feature that uh, really grabs you and is something that you will use time and time again is definitely this massive panoramic sunroof that uh, the Tucson is equipped with. So it sort of enhances your drive that much more. So being seated inside the Hyundai Tucson is a perfect blend of comfort and a technological experience, if I can say. So there's a ton of technology on board that you get to enjoy. And uh, to start with, it is your large infotainment screen that gives you uh, all your connectivity solutions, including Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth connectivity. You've got uh, this hidden uh, air ionization sort of thing that keeps the cabin air uh, pure. It is uh, something that's uh, really well done and uh, it's called a multi-air mode. So Hyundai's packed that in here as well. You've got a beautiful steering wheel with steering mounted controls so you don't have to take your eyes off the road at any point. You can uh, surf through all uh, the information that you require as a driver on the digital instrument cluster that you have in front of you. The 10.25 inch screen uh, does a brilliant job in, uh, you know, being really well lit and uh, you just don't have to take your eyes off the road even one bit as you surf through all that information that you want to see over there. You also get your advanced driver system warnings on this screen. So that's an added touch. With the Hyundai Tucson, you also get the S-Track all-wheel drive and to sort of surf through those modes, you've got an easy button right next to the gear lever. So there's your uh, terrain response, uh, so to speak. So you can choose different modes depending on the driving condition and the vehicle will set itself up to deal with that over there. And uh, you also get your fast charger. You've got a 12 volt, 180 watt uh, output, a USB output, a wireless charging and uh, ventilated seats that are also heated as well. So there is enough on board to keep you entertained, to keep you comfortable and to add to your convenience while you're on board with the, the Hyundai Tucson. So the new Tucson gets uh, two choices of uh, engine options. Obviously there's one petrol and one diesel. Uh, what we have here with us today is the turbo diesel engine and uh, it delivers 186 PS of power and 416 Newton meters of torque. Uh, this top end model is also paired with an 8 speed automatic transmission and uh, that sort of sums up the entire powertrain business that uh, the diesel Tucson's about. The petrol one uh, gets a 6 speed automatic and it's a 2 litre unit, uh, very similar to what we see in the Alcazar. But uh, since we're driving the diesel, uh, I'm going to be telling you more about how this one drives. So before I get to telling you about how the new Tucson drives, I urge you to take a look at my uh, video that's all about the Hyundai SmartSense feature that uh, the Tucson is fitted with. That is their Level 2 Advanced Driver Assistance System, ADAS for short, and it packs in a ton of features to keep you safe on the road. And even out on our drive, we got to experience a bunch of those. But if you want more details on uh, what ADAS is all about, do check out that video. Well, back to the way the new Hyundai Tucson drives. It's a vehicle that sort of holds its own on the road. It feels very stable, very planted. And uh, being a plush premium SUV, you do get that feel being behind the wheel. Uh, charging down the highway, hitting three digit speeds, uh, notching it up uh, and uh, going a little faster if you want. Uh, we had to uh, keep it at a steady 80 on most of the roads around here because you don't want to get busted by the cops. Uh, so stick to the speed limit. But even with that, you can just tell that it's a rather dynamic vehicle. 
it's stable, it takes corners really well, and uh, you really feel that urge that this is a vehicle that you can push and it will hold its line. Having said that, it does come fitted with uh, uh, Hyundai's Edge Track uh, all wheel drive system. And uh, as you get to uh, some twisty roads, you can see that the car is extremely poised. It holds its line really well. Hyundai has done a marvelous job in setting it up to ensure that it handles just right and gives you that plush ride quality as well as great drive dynamics. Even the steering wheel, it's a, a brilliant job. It feels nice and easy in the city. It's easy to do three-point turns and uh, makes the SUV feel rather nimble as you handle it around in traffic. Uh, out on the highway, it firms up real nice and it gives you that added bit of confidence that you're in control and you feel uh, very confident being behind the wheel as you take it along for a nice long drive. Everything about uh, the way that the Hyundai Tucson drives is uh, a standout feature. I think there are a few SUVs that can match uh, the way that this thing performs. Its overall drive dynamics are something that stand out and uh, it is very easy to fall in love with. I should add that uh, Hyundai has kitted out the Tucson with uh, their Edge Track uh, all-wheel drive system and uh, that gives you uh, the added confidence, the added grip of uh, ensuring that you are always in control and even if you want to deal with the rough stuff uh, you can actually uh, shift through different modes on it between sand, mud and snow and uh, get the right setup for you to deal with uh, less than dynamic driving conditions. With the Hyundai Tucson, what you get is the quintessential premium SUV. It does everything just right. So starting with the design, you've got it looking great. It stands out. It's a car that's going to turn heads and you're really going to love having something like this parked in your driveway as well. The cabin, spacious, well appointed, rich in features and it's something that the entire family is going to enjoy. When it comes to safety, again, top notch uh, level features over there as well. And to drive, it's a vehicle that's dynamic, it's agile, it's fun to drive, it's frugal. So it ticks all those boxes as well. But when you ask me what would be the icing on the cake? For me, the Tucson is a vehicle that is just right for the market. It is a beautiful vehicle, but the pricing is key. Hyundai has to get that right. It is something that is going to be the total deal maker uh, when it comes to uh, the car. But uh, knowing Hyundai's history, knowing their past, they seem to have placed all their products just right and I feel that the Tucson is going to surprise us on that front and we're going to have a delightful vehicle on our roads uh, in the near future. <laughs>